Hey CrossFit Advance, welcome to your Watt Explain for Wednesday, October 30th. Uh, can you believe it? We're almost into November. So, what we have today is, um, let me see if I can remember without turning around and looking at the board. Uh, hold on. I know this one, I just wrote it. That's my friends what you call brain damage. So, um, it's a short Metcon. I cheated. I can see behind me. So, um, all right, here's what we got. Skill review, six minutes on the power snatch, barbell power snatch. I know we just did dumbbell, I mean, uh, kettlebell snatches yesterday. I know that. Uh, and that's okay because the barbell snatch is very different from the kettlebell snatch. And, yeah, I didn't remember it when I did the programming, but I remembered it now. It's all right. We can do it. So, the wad is going to be, after we take six minutes on reviewing the skill of the power snatch, okay, your workout is going to be to perform the following ascending rep ladder for nine minutes to accumulate as many total rounds and reps as you can of the couplet of power snatch and bar facing burpee. So in round one, you're going to do one power snatch, one bar facing burpee, then two power snatches, two bar facing burpees, then three power snatches, three bar facing burpees, Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, until you run out of time of nine minutes. Okay? So, the loads for the workout are going to be a little heavy. 155 for the men's uh, competitive, 105 for women. Scaled is 135 and 95 for the women, and developmental is 105 and 75. Now, those are heavy weights. Don't get all caught up in C, the S, and the D, because um, by now we should have a fourth one that's called something else. Um, but, uh, but I'm just, these are just kind of ideas for you guys to kind of, kind of, again, let's say kind of a few more times to shoot for. All right. Um, so yeah. So if you have to scale beyond that, don't worry, do it. Cause we're looking for the best technique that you can possibly do. And the power snatch is a skilled movement that you want to do correctly. You don't want to get to a point where you're here and your elbows are still bent and then you still have to press and stand, okay? The idea is to do that little dip to get the arms fully extended without um, the need to then, you know, extend out of it. So the coaches will explain better what I mean. Um, that's why they're there and I'm here. Then uh, our cash out is going to be Damn it. Weighted plank Tabata for max load. All right, so it's not going to be a rep count score like a traditional. We're just going to use the Tabata method of 20 seconds of a plank hold, okay, with a perfectly flat body. And you're going to decide or try, you know, decide how much weight you want to strap onto your back, if any. You're going to hold for 20, rest for 10, and then press back up, hold for 20, rest for 10, and try to do it with as many plates on your back as it possibly can. We may want to do this in two heats so that you can partner up and that person can help make sure that the plates stay on your back, not to be taken off in between the rounds. You're just going to lower yourself down or maybe do that. I don't really give a shit. Um, but as long as, you know, the plates stay in place when you go to go, you know, you're back up in the up position. Okay. So, and then you're going to post whatever the max amount of weight you were able to, or what you finished with. If you started heavy and then you had to reduce the weight as the Tabata went on, record the most that you finished with for your Tabata. Bumper plates on your back. All right, guys, that is it. That's your Wednesday wad. Um, it's a short Metcon with a fun little cash out for core development. And that's it. I hope you guys have a great workout.